Hi guys, it's Omer from MOS.com and a quick uh, first impressions gameplay video for S-Zone Online, a free-to-play online shooter slash MMO developed and published by, uh, I believe, a Russian studio, which I forgot right now, but I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play S-Zone Online or just learn more about it, check the full review on MOS.com on the link below. So let's go get started. Why on? I can already tell the interface is quite iffy. There's like this login screen in the background that's like overshadowed by these. It's got a US PvP server. So I'm not sure why that login screen was there, because it doesn't actually do anything. And let's create our new stalker. The game has mixed reviews on Steam, and it did launch in uh, late 2015, December of 2015, actually. So our appearances are, why is this called Diesel? This is the Diesel look right there. You know, you want to look like Diesel? You go with this one, all right? The Vin Diesel look. We got the old man look. He's not that old. He's got a squishy face, though. These are very odd names for F F Harlem. Of course, the, this game is racist. That's the Harlem look. So you can see, I'm not, I'm not sure why they all have names. That's the whiz look, obviously, you know. This is, uh, this, so this, this guy looks very Chinese. But it's sold for hardcore. You want to play hard? I'm playing this guy, guys. I'm a hardcore. The wind cheater. What is a wind cheater? Whatever. I'm going to, I'm going to cheat the wind, boys. And these are just gloves. Semi-gloves. All right. Why would I get semi-gloves when I get the full thing, all right? And let's just go with this. And let's click next. No name appearance over there. You know, look at this guy. He's so hardcore. Enter your character name. I feel like there's a lot of wasted space on the left side and right side, but boom, here we go. And the character's called Stalker as well, which is kind of odd because there's a game called Stalker, a franchise of games which are actually very similar to S Zone Online. They've actually all, let's go with Remote, checking availability. It takes a while to check. We good? We Gucci game? I'm not gonna wait for him. Click finish, here we go. And oddly, when you first launch the game, the game specifically tells you they have no affiliation with the Stalker series of games and have nothing to do with the company behind the Stalker series of games. Which makes me think, hmm, if they have to say that up front, it means the game is probably inspired very heavily by Stalker. Testing, testing, I, oh my god, this is quite laggy. 10 FPS, baby, that's what I like. But graphically, the game looks pretty decent. Uh, testing, testing, I know you have found my radio, you don't have to answer, okay, any returning signal will be muffed by the anomalous field, but I can see you through the satellite cameras, you know, that's pretty serious cameras, satellites cannot zoom in that much without being able to see individual people, if you get this message, please make a few steps using the WASID keys, I did that, how do I click on that now, tab, nope, alt, it's usually alt, it's not alt, so how do I get to that menu, this guy is, uh, this guy's a real baller right here, you know, I may be hardcore, but this guy's either floating or the, the graphics are really terrible. No, he's floating. This guy's standing on grass. You don't mess with this dude. Clashing Cove, man. He's legit. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, reduce the graphics in a, setting, in a second. So one sec. And we are back. We are... The graphics are... It's, it's way smoother now. But this guy's floating. How do you mess with that guy? So control. You can click on this. Close message. All right. So this is a persistent... I believe this is a persistent world open world shooter slash MMO. Sasha and all those numbers. Dude, you got a lot of numbers in your name, bro. You got a lot of numbers in your name. This NPC is uh, just going to control there forever. Great, I can see you nice and clear. Time to look around, use your mouse. I know how to do that. You know to handle weapon. There's a pistol in your bag. Let's click I. So, all right, let's equip this. And I have not played the Stalker series of games, but I, I said Invalid Bill. All right, I got Invalid Bill on me, apparently. This game got mixed reviews on Steam mainly because of a lot of buggy issues. All right, this pistol looks very kawaii, doesn't it? Look how small it is. I honestly don't want to read this wall of text because it's, it's not that interesting. We will see how well you shoot later, but now listen, I need a favor. Well, if I can be called, if you can be called a favor, favor. The detective I hired got lost. Okay, we got to find this detective. So let's just see. I'll, I'll do this while we're running over here. I'll do what I can to help you. Believe me, you'll need the help because if you can, if you came to the zone, is for a reason. Uh, yeah, I came to play a game, but I'm reading a lot of text. So if you want to earn any money, I'll tell you how. Okay, dude, relax. I'll fight. All right, to fight mutants and marauders, you have to find and equip a weapon. We just did the weapon thing. You is that an NPC over there? Or is that a player? Nope, this is another, this is a player. So it's set like in a post-apocalyptic world, as we can very clearly see. The town is set on this this building over here. Yeah, who's shooting at me? I want a PvP server too. So can I kill this guy? I think the world almost looks like a like a poorly done version of Rust. But I mean, I don't think you have the same crafting element as Rust. Though the game does say you can be like an engineer, a doctor, scientist. Yo, can we kill this thing? Oh, here comes some sick XP, boys. All right, weapon is empty. Here we go, here we go. Sick frag. Easiest frag of my life. 10,000 experience. Dude, that rat was not harmless. It says I got six XP for killing a harmless rat. He was coming right for us. Right, look at the sick, sick XP, boys. Oh man, easy XP of my, of my life. Can we kill this guy? Can I PvP this guy? Yo, bro, you want PvP? Bro. Oh, I can't PvP this guy. He's, he's got an AK. He's got some better loot than I do. Right, can, we loot, can, we, can we ninja loot? Can I take his shit? Can I take your shit? 
Okay, and the million weapons require magazines. That's obviously it's bullets. All right, this guy's got a. Don't hesitate to search killed enemies. I got you, dude. I got you. Let's go. Let's go wander around and kill some things. So a lot of people said right away that the game has potential, but the graphical issues and unoptimized gameplay kind of slow it down. We did see a guy floating around already, but that's it's no big deal. I mean, he's just too cool for us. He floats, you know. So let's go. This don't hesitate, dude. I know. Don't don't show again. Okay. Well. The, Close message. We're good. So, what quest do I have right now? All right, that apparently is that a grenade? That is lava grenade. No, I, I literally grabbed the rock. Where did this rock come from? I picked up and threw it again. Yo, I'm just really good at throwing rocks, dude. Stone throw. So, do I just pull like an infinite amount of stones from my butthole, or is that where these stones are coming? No, the stone comes back to me. Look, when you throw it, no, it's still over there. Yeah, it disappears. So I can pull stones right from my butt. That's how this game works, boys. Infinite stones. Let's go back around here. Talk to the NPC for a quest. Because I do suspect there's an NPC I gotta talk to in town, which I'm kind of skipping. If I can, alright. Does the guy want anything for me? Johnny Raw, man. This guy is raw! He's got the hardcore face, too. Not nearly as hardcore as me. Alright, let me talk to you. Control. Alright, that's not easy to talk to you. Yeah. There's a, we'll go that way. We'll go that way. There's a thing over there. It's repeating the same messages. We gotta talk to this guy. He's got a green arrow over his head. This guy knows what's up. Can I not shift run anymore? Alright, alright, Blacksmith, what do you got for me? E? Okay, Russian voice acting. It's very clearly a Russian game now. Now we know for real Zs. Zombie9576! Were all of the zombie names taken? Dude, I want to talk to you! Alright, it's not E. Let's try F. Oh, F does work! Hi there, are you looking for someone? Are you the Blacksmith? Yo, dude, your name is literally Blacksmith, and I'm asking him, like, his name is Blacksmith, and I'm going to ask him, are you the Blacksmith? Maybe. Yo, this is he the Blacksmith or not, guys? He said maybe. So oddly, the text reads up to you know up to top instead of top to bottom. It's kind of weird. I was told I can help you. All right, uh, look for a gun. I want a gun. I, I have all the skill, dude. What? Do you, I'm not going to read this wall of text. Suppose I have learned crafting. Where can I get the knife and stick? Really? Don't we get a knife and stick? I have a gun already. To learn crafting, you'll need to learn the basic crafting skill. In order to learn crafting, you'll need to learn the basic crafting skill. What a what a sentence, boys. What some excellent you know whoever did the text in this game. He's a uh, Let's do some work on that one. Act on crafting to get from raw materials and various objects. So I guess in a way it is like Russ in that you gather resources to craft goodies and weapons. But it is, I believe, all in one server. So And it is an MMORPG. There should be skills and stuff too. So this actually right away reminds me of, uh, based on the interface, what I'm seeing. There's a, who was it by? It's a similar open world post-apocalyptic game. I'm sure that, that one is better. I can't believe I forgot the name. It'll come to me though. All right. So I'm gonna go kill some stuff, all right, boys. I'm gonna kill some more harmless rats. I get some sick XP. All right, these rats are going downtown. Easiest frags of my life. Let's go in this building. I want to find some mutants over here. Since the game is not letting me kill stuff fast enough, I'm gonna go kill stuff on my own. We're taking things to our own control, boys. So I'm sure S zone stands for something, but in my mind it's C zone. Just getting the C zone, boys. Sometimes retreat is wiser. No, I'm good, bro. I ain't running. Sprinting spends stamina, so my stamina is in the top left. That's why I couldn't keep running earlier. I'm hearing some, I'm hearing some dog barks. Like, there's no there's dogs barking here. There's no mutants here. But I'm sure we'll find something. The world looks kind of creepy and nice, though. We did see a bunch of other people. Mostly AFK in town, so the world does not feel too full. Oh, here we go. Here we go, dog. I, apparently I whiffed. This dog is, uh, is beast mode, dude. Here, let's get closer. Oh my god, he's coming right for me! All right, all right, boys. There are, there are, th these are, these dogs are kind of unfriendly. All right, I shot them from a distance. They didn't do jack, and then they just ganked me. All right, wait for the medic or me medic. Wait for medic or make a choice. It's odd phrasing. I guess. What if I click rest? All right, test your fate. Ten thousand rubles for one try. Who am I gambling with? Recovery in twenty. I'm rolling some dice, boys. So in twenty seconds, I can, I can test my fit. My if you pay rubles, you can. You get up from being dead? Is that is that how life and death works? You know, you just fall down, you pay the devil 10,000 rubles, and he says you're good to go. I guess I have to wait anyway. Recovery. I'm just going to get up, I guess. I don't think it's cash out money. I think it's regular currency, too. Just rubles. All right, we good? We're going to get back up? Yeah, I'm good. You know, I got a couple dogs biting me. Oh, my God. Stop spawn capping me, guys. Yeah, I got weapon issues right now. So when you're reloading, it says weapon issues. Guys, reloading is some serious weapon issues. You've been killed by sick puppy. Yeah, these puppies are sick, dude. So I'm gonna wait again, and let's see what happens. The last time it just did automatically. Apparently, I'm gonna test my fate in 25 seconds and we can get back up. 
These guys, it says I get killed, but clearly it doesn't mean actually killed because you know, you, you, you get eaten by dogs, you just get back up in 20 seconds. Very casual, very chillaxed. I'm sure the world is pretty big though. Let's see. We can't really see all of it, but just this area seems kind of nice. This is one map too. I mean, well, we can only see one map right now. Yeah, we got nine times 18, so we, we got quite a bit of clips. So we get, we're gonna kill one of these dogs, boys. We're getting one of them. All right, we've, here we go, here we go. We're reloaded, we got no more weapon issues. I keep thinking control crashes, but it doesn't. Here we go, boys, here, you ready? You re oh, he's coming right for us! Oh, e 29 experience, that's not even, what's barely worth it. Yeah, let's loot this dog. Yo, he, we got his head, dude. We got the mutant puppy head. I hear those fetch 200 rubles in town. Dimitri loves those wolf heads. He'll pay me 200 rubles for them. All right, we got this one too, here we go. Easiest frags of mine. That one's worth 34? Nice! Alright, this guy's killing them with automa automatic guns. That's cheating, dude. Oh man, Dimitri's gonna have a, have a heyday today. He's gonna get so many wolf heads. Alright, I wanna PK this guy. His name is Anti-Gun. This guy doesn't like guns. These guys are worth more. I, I like killing the little guys because they don't fight back. Alright, we good? Let me loot this. Yo, that's, yo, let me ninja loot this, bro. Huh? Yo, he's Harlem. He's got the Harlem face. You can tell because he's black. In this game, the if your character's black, it's called Harlem. All right, let's kill this wolf right here. Easy frags. Weapon is empty. Can I not reload? Oh god, what are bullets? What are bullets, boys? All right, how do I throw my rock? Okay, don't worry. You can throw rocks. Let's throw. Oh god, let's throw rocks at these guys. Apparently, it's, here we go. Come on, dude, eat the rock. Eat the rock, dude. They're coming at me. Oh god, we're gonna we're, we're totally done though. We're done though. Let's go back to the safe zone. I need some weapons, man. This game is rough. So those guys are tough to kill. All right, we're back in town. Let's go back. Uh, it wants me to go that way. Let's actually complete the quest that we're supposed to complete from level one. All right. We got a good look at the game world though. I do want to say there is some potential in this kind of game. There aren't many games that are open world with uh, first person view and it's a shooter. So it's a, it's a shooter MMORPG. Again, very few games like this. There are some though. Let's go talk to Koila the Sour. Is he gonna be like, let's see. Hey, what do you want? Blacksmith, you have a spare gun. Uh, it's, it's, Blacksmith likes to talk. I do have one, but it's not spare, it's mine. Relax, I'll give you the pistol. No, I already have a pistol, bro. But you need to adjust it. There are a lot of rats lurking outside this. Yo, what a game. No matter what, what game you play, you gotta kill some rats. Whether you're playing WoW, you're killing rats. No matter what MMO you play, you end up, all roads lead to killing wolves and rats. Even a post-apocalyptic game with guns. Where should I be looking? All right, let's do this. There, there has to be a safer way. I'm good. Give me a gun. I need ammo, bro. Okay, he, did he hook me up? Did he hook me up? We good? So where is this quest location? Uh, it's not in this area. I gotta kill some rats. I don't want to stone. I don't want to th throw more stones. Oh baby, he had a pistol. Give me an AK. Let's equip this bad boy. Oh yeah, it's a rusty AK, boys. Are we equipped. Are we good to go? It's not working. Yo, I want this gun. There we go. Apparently it takes a while to equip. Oddly enough, there's like an equip. This guy looks freaky. It's a player though. So while you, it's like, the equip bar is loading, right? But it, it, it equips automatically. It's just really weird. You know, this guy's so sly. He's got so many Y's in his name. Dude, this guy's tricky. Don't want to mess with that guy. Jump over some obstacles by pressing space. Even the space bar is just is buggy. Like when you jump, it does not feel fluid. Like uh, you see me try to right? watch a sick jump. Nothing happened. I lost stamina. I, I tried jumping and I just lost stamina. What a game, boys. Don't want to say it's an ambitious title. And I can't compare it to Stalker because Stalker is a very high rated game, actually. But everyone says this is, a, this, is a, this is a cheap knockoff that's not as functional as Stalker. I'm not sure if Stalker's online, though. We got a sick gun, though. We're ready to mow those sick puppies down. I feel kind of mean killing some puppies, but honestly, they ganked the shit out of me. They're terrible people, those puppies. Let's go kill them. There we go. You can jump. And the jumping just feels awkward. I can tell when a game has bad jump. And when a game has bad jump, you know it's poorly optimized. Alright, let's go fight some mutants. We have to go. We got the get some skills. So I, where's my character? Oh, sea crouches. Why would sea crouch? Who would do that? Let's see my skills. Base skills, specialization, advanced skills. I have a lot of experience available. 650. Okay, like can we learn uh can we learn this? Alright, clothing. We learned how to make clothing, I guess. Can we allows you to equip clothing. So Apparently, unless you have this skill, you, you buck naked. You can't equip clothes. So there's some, you know, what you can equip depends on what, you, what skills you learn. Do you want to save parameters? Why not? We'll go look at those after. So, like, killing, you get, is the experience translates directly into skill points? Because that's kind of interesting then. Because is there levels or is the experience goes right over here? Let's find out. I have 500. 
Here we go, baby. Empty! Come, what? I want... Oh, my God. I had double hook on it. Here we go. Okay, it's getting equipped. And I'm gonna get ganked. Oh, my God. I'm... Where is this? Who's, what's attacking me? Where is it? What hit me? Okay, apparently I got bit by the grass. Because that grass suddenly did damage to me. All right, we saw that. Right, here we go, wolves. Here we go. What? It's still empty. I equipped. Here we go. AK, there we go. Equip this one. Equip! Weapon is already loaded with this type of ammunition. It's not loaded. It's not working. Weapon is empty. Here, weapon is empty. We go back to the menu. Double click. I want to equip this. Do this weapon requires attached magazine to be reloaded. Yes, I want to equip the AK. I can't move this either. Does does it go here? No, these are locked. All right, boys. What do we do? What am I doing wrong? Let's, let's unequip and reequip because some I forgot to sell Dimitri's his wolf head. He loves that shit. All right, so where's my AK now? Did I just lose my AK? No, it's still equipped. All right, I have zero ammo though. Why? I want to equip this. Okay, put it on my head. That's where ammo goes. All right, this is very odd. I have no ammo here either. Okay, d dude, this guy gave me a dud weapon. Unequip. Re-equip. Can we do this drag this like this maybe? Oh, here we go. Modification, baby. We got it. We got it. We good? I better have ammo now. Very convoluted system for this. Come on. We good? Can we kill some wolves yet? Here we go. We're gonna crouch. Here we go. Sick crouch, baby. Nope. Now we gotta reload for realsies. And we finally got it, boys. We oh, there's a, there's a rare spawn, boys. He's got a different color. Alright, he's running away. He's very casually running away. This guy's juking! He's jumping! You see those sick jump jukes? Oh man, here we go. Rare spawn again. Oh man, sick frags. 150 experience! That's for an achievement I got. So let's see very quickly. Does that experience go right to my skills menu? It does. So everything you gain, it's got, it's, I think it's got a skill-based progression system. That's interesting, though. I, I want to give it points for potential, okay, guys? There's definitely potential here. But I can already see there's really poor translations. Uh, interface could be a lot better. So there's a lot of work to do. And the guy was floating. Yo, bro, you want PvP me, Chapo? No, Chapo? Huh? Huh? Huh, bro? Bruh. That's a sick reload, man. That animation on that reload was disgusting. What's he shooting at? Nothing. Let's go loot these wolf heads. We can't let Dimitri down. He loves this shit, remember? Take that. Where are these other guys? He's killing these wolves. All right, here we go. Here we go. And like, they, when you're scoping, it's like, see this right click? Like, how is that a scope? I like, it literally zooms in like an inch. I have a lot of ammo though on the positive side. A lot. It says on the right over there. And I love how like the reaction speed on these wolves. You shoot them once, like, eh, don't care. And there's like a big delay between when they get shot and when they actually react. All right, I'm literally grinding wolves, guys. Doesn't matter if it's a futuristic game, a sci-fi game, a modern game, fantasy game. All roads lead to killing wolves, all right? And dogs. Rats, too. That's pretty funny, though, isn't it? Like, no matter what game, you can never escape the monotony of killing uh, killing animals. We'll be killing tougher enemies later, I'm sure. So let's see what's... Can I learn? Oh, are there any active skills? Or are they all, like, these guys, like... It just feels very weird, the combat. I feel like this could this could have a lot of potential if it was if it was better. But see my skills menu. I feel like I can kill harder shit now. We're gonna go Oh my god, what's these guys? They do so much damage. Alright, like I gotta heal, dude. I got too many wolves. Oh god. Oh we're done Zo! We're done Zo! We're done Zo. Look how low I am. I have no ammo left? The weapon is empty? Bro, I thought I, I have zero of two ninety there we now we're reloading? I clicked the R earlier, it didn't do check. What can I reload earlier? I've been spamming my Arky and like, like my Shuki and nothing's happening. How, let, let's sit down and heal while I look at that, that, that doesn't sit down. Let's look back at my inventory menu. So can I learn some active skills or are they all like passives? We can specialize. Interesting. Okay, so shotguns. So you have 200, 200 experience and you're level 2. You can learn shotguns, which we don't, I don't think we have right now anyway. And let's get rifles 1. All right, available experience 0. We can't learn this yet, can we? Uh, skill bulletproof clothing 1. All right, uh, and universal skill... Increase your protection from weapons? Uh, can we learn this? Yeah, I don't think so. We, can, we, we might as well learn the basics because it says I can learn these anyway. So let's go ahead and just double click on these. Might as well learn all of these. I'm not sure what they all do, but let's get them all. I can't even learn some of these. Confirm. It is, again, this feels like it's almost overlapping the same menu because it's like 
you got the sliders on the right side. Very awkward. So these are my these are my skills going right now. Got my map again. There's an arena. We can PvP over there. And there are people in here. Wow. So you can you can PvP here as well. People do play the game though, which is which is nice. Again, it just the interface is really iffy. Just like equipping weapons and interface looks ugly. What uh, what what does a throw rock throw do? It's kind of duke too. When you got a bullet, you just rock throw maybe. Right, let's go fight something a little bit harder. What up, dude? What up, bro? You wish you had this hardcore face like I do. Yeah, I think I was a rash for the quest, but we went right to the wolves, boys. We were. Oh god, come on! I didn't even heal yet. Oh man, I got lit ganked. It's all right. In this game, uh, apparently the wolves don't finish you off, which is nice. Oh wait, there we go. When this when this counts down, we'll be good to go. But I'm gonna call it for now, guys. That's S Zone Online. Not a terrible concept. It just doesn't feel polished. And honestly, you can have a great game, but if it's not polished, it doesn't even matter. Nobody wants to play a game that's not polished. Obviously, you can have polished games that suck too, but you kind of need, uh, apparently we did that that time. You kind of need both. SB, uh, we, we lost my AK? No, JK, it's equipped. We're good. Yo, what up, man? What up, man? Apparently my AK. It's, look, you see the equip bar? It starts filling up when you already have it. Um, when it's, like, Your weapon equips, and then it says equipping. It just These little things really take away from the experience. But yeah, boys, that is a uh, S on online. We do have a full review for this one on MMOs.com, I believe. So if you do want to check it out or just play it yourself, do check out the link below. Hey, anyway, guys. Later. Oh, forbidden, dude. I want to kill this guy. Easiest frags. Right there. Boosh. Later, guys.